Hello and welcome to the Forge Studios. I'm your host Aaron Rosine and today I'll be showing you how to add some bullet wounds to your actors. Let's get started. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add these bullet wounds right here on his chest and also the blood and, and things like that. So here we go. Let's grab our footage. Put a new comp. So what first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and go to window or er, animation track and mocha AE. Click OK. And actually since I already have one, so click OK. Now what we need to do is we need to start creating a place to track. Right click to close the mask. So go ahead and click track forward. Now it's going to be way off when we decide to put it on our foot on our uh, footage so let's change it up and I'm gonna speed through this and click export tracking data copy the clipboard and let's go in I'm not gonna save this okay so I'm just gonna take the old tracking data that I have and you'll just line it up make sure it's all good all right, so now that we have it on our footage, put it in 3D, made it rotate with, okay, now we have it in there. Now what we need to do is track this, make sure that this null is 3D, go to animation, you can do either track camera, I'm gonna use the Foundry camera tracker 1.0. I like to go down here, maybe bring it up to 300 or something. Click track features. And wait until it finishes up. All right, so we have our tracking data. So let's solve camera. Click OK. Cool, so it looks pretty good. Now we have to create the scene. This just creates a null based off your track and a camera as well. I like to go here and click none. Let's turn this back on. Okay, now it's the eye is on, so now it looks good. Looks like it lines up pretty decently, actually. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, another shot where he actually has bullet wounds on his shirt. And that, I already screen captured it, and it is right here. So put it underneath all of that on top of the footage underneath the nulls in the camera. Take your pen tool. And let's just pick this one for now. Go around it. And close the circle or the shape. Bring it to feather it up. Press MM to bring up all the mask properties. Take the expansion in a little bit, feather it up a little more, and it's starting to look pretty good. All right, now you can start to see, you have to put it in 3D space, and since it disappeared, because it's somewhere, somewhere out here in 3D space, probably right here. So what we need to do is we need to right click on it, transform, center in view. That way it shows up. Now what we need to do is we need to go and Take the position of the null, copy it, copy all this tracking data. I, I, I changed it up a little bit. I had to fix it, so. And go to position and paste control V. Well, now what we can do is we can actually, hold on. You should do actually is go here, copy and paste each one. And then 
go to pan behind tool. Take this and bring it to center. Now bring it out here, scale it down. And put it back on the shirt, maybe 25. Let's press W so you can bring up the rotation tool. Oops. And go back here, go on the Y axis, turn it that way. Go on the X axis, axis turn it up a little bit. And now it's, tr well, forgot. And now it's tracking onto the shirt. So let's turn these nulls off. Let's fix that mask and see the little seam there. All right, now we go back and we click on the motion blur, turn on motion blur. And now it's lining up pretty well. It doesn't look amazing, but when you watch it, you won't really notice it. All right, so we have it on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take it and maybe start it out right around here. Bring in a bring in a blood hit. Just go or a burst. Go with from Action Essentials. Go with one of the ones that's more centered. Bring it out here. You have to put it in 3D space. Right click, transform, center and view. Track it to the null. W, bring it out. Bring it down here. Going to need to click P, bring it up in front of the blood hit, bullet wound. Okay, perfect. Now we have to scale it down. Bring the pan behind tool, bring it over here. Scale it down. Okay, perfect. Okay, so actually take it off of the null. So now it's just got to, now it just goes with the camera movement. So go scale. Go to click there, click negative 23, flip it. So now it actually looks right. Okay, so we put the motion blur on this one as well. Cool, now we have a blood hit. And what we're going to also add, actually let's bring it forward and get rid of that weird beginning. What we're also going to add is a powder hit from the Action Essentials Pack from Video Copilot. Bring it here. Click position. Copy. Paste. Oops. Uh, paste. And also you want to take it and scale it down to about the same size, 23. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that first frame because it looks funky. Let's turn it. Bring it in front a little bit. And now it's pretty good. I'm going to duplicate it, rotate it. Oops, Z, sorry. Let's put it right around there. Put it underneath. Take the top one, color correction, tint. Go to the white one, bring it dark red. And so you want to bring it in, where is it? Scale this one down. Okay, 
All right, cool. Let's put the motion blur on both of those. And so like this video, subscribe to our channel, and watch more videos if you like this one. We have more tutorials coming out your way. And until next time, we'll see you later.